What up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're here with a Fallout 4 location. Kind of like how I do my Skyrim locations and Skyrim quests. I decided to kind of bring this series to Fallout 4, especially with the new uh, Far Harbor DLC. We're going to be doing every Friday, so it'll be uh, Fallout Fridays. And this first location is Eden Meadows Cinema, where as I come over here and see this giant screen, I'm like, oh, what are those? Are those the poles there? What? Are, uh, no, those are, those are like 15 feral ghouls there. So now I have to devise a strategy to uh, get past all those guys. But pretty much the whole idea of this series is that every Friday we'll either do a quest or a location and we'll just kind of explore it and have fun with it. Also, yeah, there is a radio station for this place that just kind of goes on loop about uh, it's like an ad pretty much for the location and for the cinema. But yeah, this series is going to be me going to locations and doing quests that I find throughout the uh, world of Skyrim. Or not Skyrim, Fallout, Jesus, I'm too used to saying Skyrim. And look at this. Look at this cool advantage. We're like on a sniper up on the tower. It's pretty cool. I like this. This is probably like my favorite battle I've had in this game of just like trying to snipe all these feral ghouls as they come into the location. But yeah, I'm going to do this probably every Friday and you show you locations in the game. Many of the first ones are probably going to be in the uh, Fallout 4 DLC Far Harbor. But so far, it's pretty fun. I've had a lot of cool experiences and it's been about two to two and a half hours in so far. And uh, for some reason, it really reminds me of uh, Lost. Because the whole thing with this island is that there's a mysterious fog that uh, is radiated and like... People, a lot of people say that it changes people's mind, that changes people. I'm not going to go into spoiler territories because I haven't really done much. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, the island, I don't know if there has a name on it. The Far Harbor is just a town. And the island, when I go from the inside location to an outside location, all it says is the island. And that also reminds me of Lost with the island. And by Lost, I mean the TV show. I forget people probably don't know that because them damn youngins don't even know what TV shows are. So this location is pretty cool. There's these two screens here. Um, there's also a little shed over there. It, it's kind of like the Starlight Drive-In from the base game of Fallout 4. Um, but I like it because of how cool it was that all those uh, ghouls were watching the uh, projector like they were like consumed to their TVs. I don't know if it was like a play on like how all people in uh, the world nowadays are always glued to their cell phones or the te television. And there were just like feral ghouls that we can't look away from TV and then one day we're going to be these husks like uh, feral ghouls. I don't know if they're really going for that kind of thing, but I thought it was kind of cool and that's what I immediately thought when I saw this place. Yeah, but this place is probably one of the coolest places I've seen so far in the uh, Far Harbor DLC. Like I said, I don't want to explore too much, but there is a, a video I'm going to put out the same day that this comes out on how to get... Um, uh, guard dogs in this game and there is a downed uh, uh, airplane or a kind of like a jet that uh, a super mutant uses as his, uh, his home which is really cool and yeah I, I, this whole DLC I think is maybe a revival for Fallout 4 uh, to me Fallout 4 wasn't that good of a game I didn't really have a lot of good times I had about 60 to 50 hours into the game and I didn't really feel like there was really much to do and the first two DLCs, the Mechanist and the or, uh, Wasteland Workshop, or work up, Wasteland, or whatever it was called, wasn't very good and really didn't add very much to the game. And I finally think that this Far Harbor DLC is actually something that Fallout 4 fans are going to be really happy with. And uh, hopefully you guys will be too, because I'm going to be putting, like I said, Fallout 4 videos, or Fallout videos every Friday for Fallout Friday. It's never been done before, you know, because they both have Fs, you know. No one's ever made that connection and had a day uh, of the week that they put Fallout content on. I'm the first one ever, and if someone tries to tell you different, then they're wrong. That was sarcasm. Hope everyone... I should have put Kappa there. But yeah, pretty much this location has this projector up here, and it for so, apparently it's been playing forever, because I don't know who would come up here, fix the projector, and then leave it on. It must have been on since the bombs dropped, which is... Pretty impressive unless someone actually comes here and uh, changes it. But also, I kind of neglected to say, I picked up the manager key up in that building. And it will actually unlock this uh, bottom door of this projector screen. Which is what I'm going to call it because that's where the projector goes. Um, so yeah, in the other side of this, I don't know why I'm running in there. 
But there's a door, and it has some tr uh, treasure in there. Uh, not some very good stuff, but it has some crafting materials and stuff like that. And this whole video is probably really ranty, but I just kind of wanted to talk about the DLC in a disguise of a location video. So if you're just here for the location, my bad. You get to hear me rambling because I wanted to talk about the DLC a little bit and my thoughts on it. As well as show you guys this cool location that you might have missed if you're just sticking to the main storyline. Because uh, the first time, for the first time in forever, I'm actually not going to do the main storyline. I'm going to explore a little bit in a Bethesda game, which is really weird for me to say. Because I'm pretty cut and dry with to go to the story and be done. But yeah, that's kind of that's your uh, that's your treasure, some Radaway and Radex, which is really important for this place because of the fog. It's radiated, and you get a lot of uh, radiation poisoning, as you can see on my HP bar. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this location. The Eden's Meadow uh, Cinema is pretty lo good location. I recommend checking it out if you guys haven't already. And yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to follow-up videos every Friday. And if you guys want to see any other locations, make sure to tell me. Uh, Make sure to tell me. And right there, you saw it on the map. I don't think I showed it on the map before. But uh, I'll put that as a screenshot at the beginning of the video as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And it's Clayton, signing out. What up, everyone? Clayton here. And today, we're back with another Fallout 4 Far Harbor Guide. And by another, I mean the first one I've done. Anyways, we are going to get guard dogs for your settlements. And you can do this by coming to Horizon Flight 1 of.